Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, I do like to share what I find and these are some loft water tanks that I found previously and we had some wonderful carrots in these uh, in 2023 and I have found uh, two more previously uh, shown uh, in another video and what I do like to do like on plot three that you've just seen is to make use of any spaces that I can well this is a redundant space I can't put another barrel there because that's where the uh, water drops in so using the uh, wicking system we'll pop that uh, into the uh, the barrel thread it through the new hole then that will in turn come through that hole there now looking at those other tanks you could see that they were splaying out so I've got some threaded bar I've had that threaded bar for about 10 years never had any use for it but it's certainly come in useful now so it's always worth saving things and keeping them you never know when you might need them but before you go today if you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction and uh, why not consider subscribing and thank you very much for all the uh, con lovely continued support that's uh, been shown and the lovely comments in helping me and others so in the bottom we'll be putting some of the plain cocoa koi balls that we found and then I'll add some of the cocoa koi or should we say clay balls that's in the cocoa koi uh, in the bottom that'll get rid of uh, half of that I'll use half in each because I've got two of these tanks not sure where I'm putting the other one at the moment but uh, it'll be ready so uh, let's get started to have a good siphoning system you do need to make sure that uh, both pipes are uh, touching the bottom because what we don't want to do is once we've stored all our uh, liquid plant foods on top of here and suddenly the water level drops too much and you lose that siphoning but the water goes into this one and travels that way and uh, travels that way we use this one to gain access to the uh, water that will now slowly soak up the water and uh, sink to the bottom he says hopefully hopefully that container will stop uh, the warping I've just noticed that I haven't got any screws in there to stop that pipe from dropping down not such not such an issue when it's like that but once that's in place it'll be a bit more difficult so I'll just uh, get that done that's that little job done. I'm hoping to get some new roofing sheets in the future. Make this all good because collecting rainwater is most the one in, most important things you can ever do on your allotment or growing spaces. Your plants will love you for it. That's all uh, neatly done. It's a little bit high, but uh, this will grow some uh, really nice carrots. It won't always have uh, all this uh, plastic sheeting which is stopping the water going into uh, the uh, comfrey. So we'll add some more ingredients now. Those cocoa, those clay balls will stop the compost uh, going into the bottom and into the uh, barrels hopefully. Uh, nice uh, layer of the uh, clay balls they'll help with the uh, moisture retention and aeration just added some of the clay balls with the compost in that we'd never uh, moved and then I remembered I had issues with weeds growing out the holes where the inlet and outlet pipes were and the overflow so I'm going to uh, resolve that by using some little square offcuts of the uh, corex that'll uh, last me out so that should be better and something that I could do on the others uh, if I ever need to 
remove any compost and uh, it's leaning a bit but I think once uh, we get some weight in it'll push that uh, lid back down and stop it warping so I need to do a little bit of sifting now remove some lumps especially because it's going to be for carrots so the bucket black bucket on the right has got the cocoa koi in the fire bucket has got the compost with the added perlite and on the left in the blue trug is the spent potato compost which is really good to add to all these other ingredients this is the pallet collar bed that I'm, been, I'm going to be used to top all the beds up I find it a nice comfy height and I can lean uh, my body against it so there's no uh, aggro uh, or damage to my uh, back and then we're just left with uh, some remnants in the bottom Glad I get this covered, it collects the rainwater on those bins and it stays reasonably dry. A lot of all the other compost uh, is really quite uh, wet and you'd not be able to do anything with it. Just a few remnants of roots and what have you. They can then go in uh, the compost bin or just spread them out on the ground uh, in the wood chips. Homemade, you can't beat it. That's lovely stuff. Dry now, but I'm sure after the winter it'll be wetted up nicely. So let's get that moved now into the container and we'll top it up another day if need be. Well, that's got that topped up, and uh, my thoughts are let's cover it up. And uh, we'll come back to that I'll just make sure that there's no water can get in I'll come back to that in a few weeks time and we'll have a look see how well the wick is actually working so the wick should be right in the bottom because we can take the level of uh, this I normally take it down to about halfway just in case it uh, hits those pipes and stops siphoning because uh, I'd be in trouble if it did but you might be able to hear the wind still and the rain the storm pier finally uh, disappears poor old uh, sprouting I'll tie them up, I'll cover them up they get battered but I blame Jason for saying that uh, the brassicas will grow really well after I'd had my temporary compost bins there let's hope that uh, we get uh, something in February and March and I think some people will be shocked to see what's happened to some of their things those bags with the fly top fly tip composting have come very useful to hold everything down so if you've liked the content of uh, this video then please uh, consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down for the interaction and oh as always leave me a comment with your experiences it doesn't matter about being on this subject just spotted that must remember to move that out of the way when that getting wet but the comments are the most important thing uh, on uh, our uh, uh, blogs let's uh, have a little look see if the rats have moved in All is quiet. Excuse the noise, guys. Oh. I think that's gone rotten, guys. <laughs> Another job to do. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.